All right. Hello, guys. This is Alan Bolda, Josh Burke, Kaiser Oakland, Kaiser Richmond Emergency Department. And part of our orientation series, I want to just briefly go over the Hotline Fluid Warmer. Um, now, what this is is just a basic fluid warmer. I know we did a video on the Level 1 pressure infuser. This does not have the pressure infusing piece to it. It is just something to heat up, heat up, um, heat up water, heat up the fluids for uh, for a hypothermic patient. Right. Um, I know I also have an Alaris pump on here, but it can be used without an Alaris pump. It is not a pump. It just simply warms it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to prime it and get it all set up for gravity infusion only, not with the Alaris pump. Right. So. For one, first, I already pre-primed this, but what you have is your regular primary tubing and, and a bag of normal saline. That's all I have on here. I already pre-primed that, so just in the essence of time. What I'm opening up right here is your level one hotline fluid warming set, which is located in, usually located in the red rooms. And all it is, is take a look. This is, it looks like really thick tubing. And I'll explain what it is. It's, it's basically a tube inside a tube. And what's gonna happen here when I plug this all in is warm fluid will infuse inside this tube. But the inner tube inside here, I know it sounds confusing now because I'm on all these tubes, but this inner tube inside this big thick tube is 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 where normal saline is gonna be primed and, and, and flowing. So let me show you. First things first, let's go ahead and prime this. Alright? So here is our normal saline normal saline tubing, okay? which is already primed, okay? Regular lure lock connection, great. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna prime all of this. This is an important piece to, here because if you don't prime this, this whole length is gonna be just air when you infuse it. So please make sure you prime this whole piece right here. Here's a clamp right there. And I'll just do our basic, and basic. There you go, you can see it flowing. Wait till this end starts dripping out. All I'm doing, you can see it right there, priming all those bubbles. And like I mentioned, this is important. You gotta make sure you prime all this before you connect it to the patient. Otherwise, you're just giving them about 20 mLs of air. All right, there you go. Let's clamp it down. All right, next, I'll go ahead and turn this thing on. It is not battery operated. It has to be plugged in. So there's an on switch right over here. You can see there's a reservoir over here for the for the water. We'll, we'll use distilled water. And you can hear, hear it already beeping, um, saying that it's not that nothing's plugged in. So you always want to know where the silence button is. I don't think there's a silence button on here. So you can go ahead and try pressing anything on here. It's not going to silence. The only way to really silence it is to plug it in. So let me show you this piece. Take a look, this piece right here, you can see inflow, outflow, and that's just gonna connect directly into this side, okay? All right, once you plug it right in, whoops, there you go, and immediately it stops, it stops, it stops beeping. Now, what it will already do is it will already preset, um, it'll already preset it. You can see right now it's, it's already priming once it's plugged in, it's priming this whole tube, the outer tube, um, with warm with uh, warm water, and the water's coming directly from right over here. All right, warm distilled water, and it's going to prime it to about 37 to 40 degrees. You cannot adjust the temperature. There's no button to adjust the temperature. Same thing with the level one pressure fuser infuser. It'll just go ahead and prime this all up, um, and that's basically all it does. So you'll feel in about a minute or so. This is already gonna start warming up. You'll also see the temperature right over here, anywhere between 37 to 41. And just go ahead and connect this directly to the patient, lure lock connection, and using either the Alaris pump, pressure infuser, or just regular gravity, you would just go ahead and let this flow. And voila, ooh, nice and warm, all right? So that is the level one hotline fluid warmer. Once again, it is not a pressure infuser, it is not a pump, it is just simply a machine that warms up your fluid for your hypothermic patients. All right, if you have any questions, once again, this is Alan Bolda, Kaiser Oakland, Kaiser, Oakland, Kaiser uh, Richmond Emergency Department, Josh Burke, Kaiser Oakland. If you have any questions at all, uh, please feel free to give us a call. All right, thank you guys.